It's nice to try to invite our next contestant. His name is Anurag Jain. He's a software engineer from DTS and he's going to entertain us with Stand Up Comedy Act. Please welcome Anurag Jain. <laughs> Uh, you know, many times, many years, and when I was growing up, I always used skip notes, skip notes, tell to pass my classes. So having an assistant character, I'm going to do the same. <laughs> you know, a far away village, um, a population skyrocketed, and the family planning commission were wondering what happened to the village, and they sent out an investigation team and found out that about a year ago. Uh, there is a freight train passing through the village and it helped uh, get the people up. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, one day, a husband goes to shopping with his wife. And then, unfortunately, his wife gets lost again. And he keeps searching for her. And then he walks into eventually a showroom and a very beautiful shoe sales girl comes to him and asks him, Can I help you? He says, well, I don't really need any help. It's just that when I start to talk to a beautiful girl, my wife, no matter where she is, comes right very fast. <laughs> you know, a wife asks the husband, you know, we have been married for 10 years. How has it been? The husband says, um, like a minute. Then she asks, what does 10,000 10, bucks mean to you? He says, just like a one buck. She says, Give me that one buck. <laughs> the husband says, wait for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> a son comes to his dad. Hey, dad, who is Ravan? Or Ravana. The dad is very angry. He says, don't you even know that? What are teachers teaching you nowadays? You see a table? There's Mahabharata. Go ahead and bring it over. I swear to you. <laughs> Even in my neighborhood, they open a very beautiful uh, saloon. The, the name of the saloon is called Meepa uh, A very beautiful uh, you know, model marries a rich man. A few weeks later, a reporter asks, Ma'am, what did you see in that guy to marry him? And she answers, Ek to inki income, dusre inke din kam. <laughs> you know, this guy goes uh, to a promiscuous uh, to get his uh, new prescription for light glasses. And the optimist says, okay, how is this? He says, it's good, but it's not clear. The optimist increases the strength. Now how is it? It's good, but still not clear. He increases again. That process continues for like 10 times. And he almost gets in that vernacular kind of lenses. And he really gets those eyeglasses, goes out. And out there, this guy is selling some, um, selling the bridge. He goes and says, Where do I to buy it here? <laughs> Maybe a couple of balloons. <laughs> you know, I don't know if I told you, I married my wife for her looks, but not the one she's been giving me lately. <laughs> uh, you know, some time ago, uh, there was a group of um, guys walking this way, and from there, a group of girls were coming this way. And one of the naughty guys uh, goes and tells the girls, Khuda kare in hasino ke baab ma jayen, maat ka bahana ko aur ham unke ghar jayen. And there is a, one of the girls is quite gentle, and she says, Aisa na kya zalim, ye baap hoga. Can you imagine this guy can be on his feet for six hours? Okay, can this guy even walk for six hours? How about and run for six hours? Yes. How about a week, week ago I ran a marathon? Oh. <laughs> I think I first arrived at Tyson's Six hours, 17 minutes. Oh. Okay. Taking my six hour time. Thank you, Anurag. Uh, great performance. I think the, the jokes were, or, or the, the, the narration that you had was excellent. Uh, and uh, the timing, 
perfect too. Uh, so keep it up. Congratulations on your medal. It's a great achievement. And thank you for entertaining all of us. It's nice, fun. Thank you. Yeah, congratulations, Sandra, um, for your marathon. Um, yeah, you're very confident. I commend the courage you have to do something like this. It's very, it's very good. Um, uh, I think you should say, share some of these jokes with your wife so that she doesn't do that inside anymore. Good job. Good job.